Yeah. Advertisement. Yeah, that's a thing that maybe exists. I don't know. Sounds like fake news. Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to Rise of the Rune Lords. This is this is Rise of the Rune Lords. That's really all I have to say. I mean, it's a, it's a group of people. We get together. We play some Rune Lords. Or no, we actually fight the, the Rune Lords. wrong overlay. I did. I did have the wrong overlay for a moment. Super professional streamer over here. Grab the wrong one. They all look the same <laughs> these days because I did a uniform like rebuild of everything but hey welcome to session 18 last session i said session 16 because at some point i got my sessions mixed up don't know how that happened but we're actually on session 18 we are currently in the future which is super exciting super fun but we're gonna go around the table we're gonna have everybody introduce themselves introduce their characters and then we're gonna figure out what the fuck to do because last session things went sideways Were we? uh not good i suppose is what happened and we've got to figure out how to fix that so the mayor might be dead apparently is dead i don't know but uh, let's go lights finance cord jester and then i'll introduce myself and we'll dive right into play um lights i play osmerding our green haired green eyed gnome who is uh sh was shocked by all the bells Oh my god, the bells. I heard uh, people I heard people bells. purple people eater in there after you're like green eyed, green hair. Uh, I'm finance potato, I play bear. Now with fifty percent more bug and bear. Yep. <laughs> I forgot oh. about that. <laughs> I'll go next. I guess I am Cord the Destroyer. I play the good Dr. Durden. Um I did uh, roll a 10 uh, as a doctor check there in the game uh, chat there. Before we started, just to make sure I was still a doctor. I just want to say, uh, low. <laughs> uh, but, but a 10 is a pass in my book. Hmm. You have average doctoring. Right. That's Sir. all right. Okay. Po potatoes. I just wanted to say it. I'm Chester Jasper. I'm playing Sumi, the uh, badass panther, as well as her half elf companion, Weave the Bear Remaker. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> as I see his token getting switched out. Yeah. It's a thing. For a only slightly hairier man. I mean, I mean, honestly, he looks pretty much the same. Pretty much the same, just slightly more bug and bear. Like like he had said. That's good. He already had the bear. He just needed more bug. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And of course, I am Dare Wolf, the game master. Super excited to be here. Super excited to see where we go with this evening's adventure. So to set the scene, we last left off the party here. The uh, apparent or supposed heroes of Sandpoint had made their way over to the clock tower, the shadow clock tower, which is this old kind of lighthousey clock tower thing underneath the iron span which is a massive bridge that uh, some say some historians and scholars say was a like a giant's bridge i mean it is literally massive and this is the really the slums that exist underneath this bridge somewhat devoid of light somewhat devoid of really any sort of positive vibes it's uh, it's filthy but you all had tracked this woman this is anesha apparently was her name that the iron justice ironbriar had been obsessed with and well when you got there you were attacked by a scarecrow golem which was a thing you made short work of it you made short work of it and then as you began to climb this rickety and spiraling staircase there was a dong and then a crash and four bells came tumbling down and all but murdered majority of the party it was quite horrific quite horrific that's a word i just made up it's horrific and gory horrific as it were it's, it's terrible not terrific would be a portmanteau in there someplace no 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 no. it wasn't terrific it was gorific horrific gore and, and terrific terrific gore gorific gorific it's terrifically gory but we then watched as the party limping away from the fight the one person that really held his own, and, and maybe if he wasn't so yellow-bellied, might have actually been able to defeat her in one-on-one -on -one combat, was none wow. other than Dr. Durden himself. He mocked wow. her, he chucked fire at her, 
He, uh, I think he made some sort of obscene gestures in her direction as he ran. It was quite, quite graphic, quite gory. But the good news is, is that you did survive. You did return. And also, Light's Fantastic, thank you so much for the four-month streak. That's seven months you've subscribed. I appreciate you, sir. You're a good man. But you all retreated back to the Foxglove Manor, this small little townhouse that they, at one time, prior to turning into a ghoul and dying, had called their own. And as you all settled down, you reincarnated Bear, mm. the dice gods decided, and by dice gods, I mean he rolled 100 and I chose, I guess I'm the dice god, he turned into a bugbear. A little stronger, a little hairier, but still all bear. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Who's going to Mostly explain bear. it to his dad? I don't know who's going to explain <laughs> it. But we open our first scene with all of you having woken up, a good night's rest, healed up, furry, I suppose, still small and a little crazy and stabby, still kind of a kitty sometimes, but also you have a, the best kitty of all kitties, you have Sumi. And you've heard this, one of those young street urchins or those little male boys with their little... You know, now let us... News here! Front page! The man's been murdered! Dead in his manor! The man's manor! Dead! Extra, extra! Read all about it! That's exactly right. That's exactly <laughs> right. And so we open our scene with all of you at the townhouse, and I leave the scene to you. I leave the scene to you. How would you like to proceed? So th just, just this is the next day? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was kidding. I didn't mean for him to be a bugbear. It was a joke. It was a play on words, and now he's really a bugbear. You bugged her too much when you're when she was casting the spell, so now I'm a bugbear. <sighs> All right. Well, um, honestly, we this is better than it could have been. It was going to be a little avian, so I'm glad it turned out this way. Do we do do we have any uh, of those masks? Not the not the really bad mask, but the other masks that he can disguise himself with. Why? In case you need to go outside. Why would I need to disguise myself if I go outside? Go ahead. What would happen? Uh, <laughs> what do you think would happen if you walked outside of this townhouse right now onto the street? Have you ever seen one of those movies where it like? does a flash forward of like what would maybe happen and you see the event <laughs> playing out. So we flash forward to Bear walking out. There's a woman and a little like baby cart walking down the street. He goes, hello. And she goes, ah! <laughs> and she runs off screaming. And then the guards, like all of these guards, you don't know where they came from, but the entire town guard just jumps on him and dog piles. The Dunkin' Donuts a block yeah, down. There's a, it's, they're yeah, everywhere, frankly. Yeah, yeah. there's a uh, Kervosen Fries place right up the street which is what they uh, what they eat the crevos and fries it's really good so but uh yeah there you go thought experiment probably not good this racist stigma of bugbears needs to end now um you've been a bugbear for less than 24 hours i don't know if you have the right to say something like that just yet yeah you gotta be careful with uh with going outside um you're gonna need a disguise for a while i um, don't know if we kept any of those masks I don't know if you do. I, 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 I just, I just, I just have mine. I have all this like doctor's bandages. I could make you kind of like one of those like uh, undead, like money, mummy, mummy kind of people, and just like wrap like bandages all over your face. And just, uh, well, I mean, your eyes would still be out. And doctor to the fourth. Um, did you have a razor? But what does uh, a shaved bug bear look like? I no. don't know, but we should find out. No. Yes. Cut to another scene. It looks just like Bear, <laughs> but he's got pointed teeth and pointy ears. That would probably be easier to get around. <laughs> if you than... touch any of that razor, you're going through that window. You have to sleep sometime. So do you. Jo Joffrey's, uh, Joffrey's an expert at, um, at barbering. No. Um, if I got... find one hair taken off of me by one of you... Um, I'm worried about you losing all the hair from here up if you go outside. No. Okay. Just, I, just I, one. Go, I, I go over to, to weave. Uh, do you got another one of those spells? It doesn't really work if he's alive. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be casting it very soon again. Yes, I see your point. Yeah, he, he he's not getting the fact that He's a monstrous creature, and there are 
people here who, when they see bugbear, were going to freak out. They might not even know it's a bugbear. They're just going to go monster, point to him, and then everybody's going to look at us, and we're going to be standing next to him, and they're going to see the bugbear, and they're going to see the devil. People don't attack Sumi on on sight. She's a wild animal. But she's a wild. She's, How she's, dare you? She's 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 Weave's owner. Oh, so th- so that's oh. makes it fine, I guess. So well, he just needs nothing but a big house cat. So, so I'm, not, right. I'm nothing but a big bear. <laughs> what if what if we just give him what an owner? <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll be his owner. Uh, no. You just no. you have to be careful. Um, I, 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 Besides, I, I'm, I'm, being, I'm gonna be basically covered in armor anyways. Yeah, but you need to cover the face. The face is covered. What if we put? What if we just put shackles on him and like like we pull just him leave around? the full plate helmet on him? He usually doesn't wear it, but we could just put it on. Okay, you're gonna need to keep that on. I mean, we I guess we could shackle Shlink. him. Shlink. <laughs> we could shackle him and then try to find the detention dish, the detention no. level. Find there the are dis- a few rules. Okay. Don't try to shackle me. Well, okay. Well, if you're going outside, you're going to have to be wearing something over your face. Okay. I, 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 I can try to like craft him something like a, a mask or. He already fine. has the helmet. He can just wear it. It's fine. Well, exactly. he his helmet. And no smiling. What? I can smell that once. All the fur on Sumi's back stands up, and you recognize Uh-oh. this weave as she smells something. She smells something bad. And she Spider lets out sense. that low, <laughs> very throat like growl. If you've ever heard a cat. Yeah, he she smells. Looks We're going to give him a bath. Directly towards the back door. I need everyone how to make does, perception checks, please. How does, how does Joffrey man. feel, though? That's the question. I, I, I do, like, a quick, like, I, I, I stir up my face, and I give a quick look to everyone in, a, like, a hand wave so that everyone understands at least the danger that potentially is happening. Dr. Durden, Dr. 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 Durden, you hear just Joffrey like, here. Just like when we're playing Hunt, Dr. Durden. <laughs> just like when we're playing Hunt, you hear that slow creep walking of someone crouched and it's just that crunch 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 mm. right by the back door it's the breaking of the somewhat dry and crisp blades of grass maybe the occasional twig from a tree or i look at everybody uh, and i go Shh, as i bring my red finger with this pointed nail on it I look at everybody and then I point towards the door and I start pulling a bomb away from my chest. Underneath the door that leads to the back, the kind of garden-like area, you all hear this very quiet but and faint sliding of what looks to be a folded letter. Just a shh. There's a tiny little wax seal where it's been folded. In thirds, a little wax seal. And that wax seal has a little tiny sahedron symbol that has been imprinted into it. Slides in, then a few moments later, you hear a thup, 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 thup of someone or something running away from that door. Why'd they spend the time to sneak up to it if they're just going to run away like that? It's called a ding dong ditch. Come on, man. Then ding dong. They just ditched. I'll go and I'll go check the water. Just be careful of traps, though. I don't imagine there would be. Yeah, what's the worst thing? I come back to life again. Explosive load in your face. I can only do that so many times. Is Is there a chance that any of us could like run to the door, like? slam it open and go out there and see who it is absolutely yeah i mean it just if you want to tell me dr Gurdon, that you bolted towards the door as soon as you heard that letter as soon as you heard the first heavy footfall that you bolted towards the door absolutely as soon as soon sure i'm I'd, I'd, I'm kind of interested as soon as the letter like starts sliding under the door um i could run towards it and kind of like try to bash it open and see just like shoulder there. into it 
Just yeah. like we're playing Hunt, and you bash into the door and it knocks open. Lots of Hunt references today, forgive me. Mm. But as you run towards the door, you bash open the door, and as you bash open the door, your shoulder goes into it. You feel that kind of soreness. You might have a bruise, but you just go full bore into it. As the door bursts open, you look to the back of this little garden-like area. It's about 30 feet in front of you. There's this little overhang, kind of a little pagoda or a little terrace that goes over, and you look past it, and you look past the shrubs, you can see this little gate that goes into the back alley, and jumping over that gate is none other than Bear, prior to Bear turning into Mr. Bugbear. What? what? Oh, I know what that is. He looks to you, sneers, oh. and then bolts down the road. You could catch oh, him if you God. ran after him. It's one of those things again. It's the one that got away. It is, probably. I, I kind of want to do it. Should I should I just play to that? Sure, why not? I want to do it. Let's I, I go. Yeah, we should do it, Joffrey. Definitely. You're right. As I as I stand there and I look at him, uh, we, we, we we had a long rest, right? We're we're all refreshed. Yeah. Um, I am going to uh, rip off a small little vial off of my bandolier and take and take my first fly potion of the day. It's beautiful. And uh, increase my speed to sixty, I believe. Beautiful. Yep. And I'm going to fly after that guy. And as you fly up and over, you fly over up the fence. and yep. over the fence line. You 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 go high into the air. And what we're going to do. So I'm actually going to move you over to the overland map of where the yeah. Fox of Townhouse is. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to place a duplicate bear onto the road. And so imagine, if you will, you've come out of this back door. Everyone is behind you. They're all like, what the fuck are you doing? Maybe Weaves over there like, same shit, different day. I don't know. You know, you're your own characters. You can make your own decisions. But you watch as Dr. Dur knocks back a vial does the double swig, spits it back in as his tradition. And then no, not he, this one. Not this one. He just docks this it my, back. This is my, this is my third So maybe you are really, really scared about what, <laughs> what he's doing here. He's knocked it all back. He usually doesn't do that. So he knocks it back, tosses the vial to the floor, crashes, there's a shatter. And as he takes off into the air like Superman himself, a little bit more Getting red. Getting started early today, A little we? bit less man. But he zips <laughs> up and over and... Dr. Durden, you see Bear. He's wearing different clothing. He's wearing just average street clothes, uh, like a commoner, someone that's maybe a dock worker or something like that would wear. There's a brown sort of tannish looking shirt, V-neck down to here, lots of uh, lots of mutton kind of stuff coming out, a little bit of a cheeseburger. What's it called? What do you call it? The hair that comes out. There you go. It's just kind of spiraling out. He was still very hairy, even when he was a black bear. Hamburger. There it is, a little hamburger coming out. And he's bolts, he's bolting down the road, but you're flying a lot faster than he is. So you can do what you want. On the way there, uh, Joffrey Joffrey knows what to do. He's going to uh, take a strength mutagen mm. on the way there. Yeah, so Joffrey knocks back the strength mutagen, it absorbs into you, and you watch as this man continues to run down the road, but you're gaining on him. Doctor, you're gaining on him, and you're within. You're within a charge action of getting to him now. What do you do? Um, my somewhat of a cape is like fluttering in the air. My small wings that are only visible every now and then are flapping, although not helping. They, they stabilize a little bit. My vestigials, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, and I start bulking out a little bit as the strength mutagen starts uh, kind of hulking me out. Um, I'm going to just like attempt to just fly into him and just skid him right into the ground bear in your best so so i want you to imagine if you will bear that you are a shape changer that is shape changed into bear trying to do your best bear impression <laughs> and screaming help he's trying to kill me he's gone he's crazy this demon man is trying to kill me. I need you to just channel so you're you're a, you're you're playing a character who's playing your character <laughs> pretending to be your character. Does that make sense? I need you to channel that for us. Okay. So this is as he's on the ground, right? Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he's charging you. 
You look back as this shape changer. You see this hulked out <laughs> flying red man with a tiny tumor monster on his shoulder going. Yeah! This is impossible, man. Bear has never once expressed fear. It's impossible for him to do it here. <laughs> So that's that's the tipping point. We're, we're, it's no. a role playing experiment. Yeah, we're role playing. Here. We're practicing. That's, we're stretching our role playing. Real muscles. bear. This real. This is a real bear. Yeah. This is a fake bear. Yeah. yeah. Ah, help! He's tackled me to the ground. The demon is trying to kill me. That was pretty good. That was actually really good. I love that. That was good. Yeah. 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 So this man begins to scream. It's obviously a fake bear voice, uh, but it's pretty good. I mean, he's doing an okay job. And there's a couple people that are looking towards you. No, the entire town guard doesn't come running, all right? The Kervosan Fries is on the island to the south, not right here, so you get lucky this time. Yep, but yep. Uh, we watch as, Doctor, you tackle this shape changer to the ground. What do you do now that you have him on First the ground? First thing I yell is, this bear is fake. He knows that I'm a devil, not a demon. And I, uh, I'm just gonna start. Uh, he called me a demon. The real bear knows that I'm a devil. Come on now. Come on now. He knows that I'm a devil. I yell back. Um, hey, and, that man's uh, tackling that other man. Hey, there's a fight in the street. Hey, someone call the town guard. They're all on the south of the city by Cravos and Fry's place. They're having um, a get together right now. I, uh, I have. I have claws and a bite attack, and I would like to just start uh, like destroying this guy. Jesus, you're just gonna maul this guy in the street? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll. I mean, I'll heal him if if I he like goes unconscious. This is like this is gonna be the breaking point where tensions between tieflings and humans. Just this is explode. it. This is the this is the ignition point so, that starts a political movement that tears the city apart. Yeah. So I want you to imagine, <laughs> if you will, that this hulked out. <laughs> devil demon from the abyss that is flying down from heaven uh, tackles this poor very hairy man to the ground and begins to ravage him and he does his best to resist but he's caught off guard Dr. Durden is too strong and Dr. Durden you ravage him to the point where he passes out and actually reverts back to the faceless stalker that he is there's still a number of people that are screaming and shouting it's been about a minute. It took you a minute to savage him, as it were. And there's a, a small crowd that's gathered. They've watched you. And as soon as you're done, one of the people in the crowd actually shouts out, Wait! That's not a hairy guy! It's one of them faceless stalker things that have been playing in the city! He's no devil! He's an angel! He just saved us! And they start screaming and shouting. And then a bunch of people start it's like moving forward, hero. and uh, they start clapping you on the back, and uh, and they start congratulating you on ridding the city of this terrible menace. And uh, there's a couple of people that rise up too, and they lift you on their shoulders, and they start kind of parading you around town as the uh, as the hero of Magnamar. As the hero of Magnamar. I wonder if this has something to do with the Second Coming. Meanwhile, <laughs> back in the townhouse, back in the townhouse, what are the rest of you doing? I'll pick up the letter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm with uh, I'm with Oz, where it's just like same shit, different day. Pick up the letter. Let's. You do let's hear it. this. You do hear this. From somewhere off to the west, because uh, somebody asked, like, "What's your name, by the way?" Yes, Doctor Durden. Durden, the hero of Magnabar, saver of the people. <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's our little side quest for the day. I like it. The letter. Again, sealed with this red, deep crimson wax pressed. And there's kind of a, there's almost an aggressiveness to the way that it was pressed. You know, you push a wax seal down, give a little wiggle. It was pressed, slammed down, and then she rolled it. And it's just, it's, it's almost like melted. You can see little flecks of the metal from this wax sealer that she used. Because you realize as you open it up, it is a letter. And it says, it would appear we got off on the wrong foot. We need to talk. Meet me tonight at the Shadow Clock Tower. I'll be expecting you. Signed, Zanesha, Sister of the Seven. So just, just to confirm, it's been a while. 
The Shadow Clock Tower is that thing we went to last time where bells were dropped on us. 100%. Okay. Yep. Under cool. under the Iron Span Bridge. bridge. Yeah. Oh, I had a I had a question. Too bad. Um, okay. Can I can I land like Superman like within like about forty five seconds after just like boom and I'm like holding on to this guy I have a I have a super badass strength now so I'm no like... I mean you're currently being paraded around town on oh, people's okay. shoulders so just let, let have your moment okay okay enjoy your as moment. I'm as I'm being paraded around like this this guy I I have him by like the I I've just like grabbed his like oh, collar no 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 and no, I'm, no, no, he's, no, no, no. He, I'm just holding him you've got it all wrong there's a bunch of people behind you carrying him like some sort of trophy behind you okay. So don't worry, they got you. They got you. All but right, to the rest right. of the party, what are you guys doing with this information? I round two. I don't... <laughs> oh no. Uh, well, this well she knows is... where we live, which isn't good. We should fly to the top if we can. I mean they can't put the bells back up there. That's true, but there's also probably damage to the staircases and you know you guys are tall. I am small. I can carry half of us up flying. Well, that would be okay. That would be me. My logistics question that I was going to ask was, uh, you said this was under the iron span. How many feet from the top of the bridge to the top of the tower? Is 250. That? Okay, so there's a gap of 250 feet? Correct. All right, so we're not, all right. I was just going to throw that out there, like like maybe shimmy down a rope, but that doesn't seem plausible anymore. It's a lot of rope. Yes, it's a, a lot pretty of tall tower. I don't have a way to fly, personally. I can carry us. You can't carry everyone. You all right? Here. Um, let me double check my spell. Uh, yeah, I can give myself. A carry capacity of above my a uh, heavy load is twelve hundred pounds. Okay, maybe you can carry all of us. <laughs> wow, <clears throat> what's what's your strength? Uh, what the spell is twenty eight. Twenty eight, impossible. Man, what are we playing Pathfinder here or something? <laughs> Damn. Well, Sumi is around 300 pounds. I right? solved that problem. <laughs> I, I guess you could carry all of us if you can carry a heavy load. Yeah, Although I, that sounds so dangerous. I don't know if I want you carrying all of us up the side of a 100 foot tower. Sumi does that low growl again, but instead of a I'm angry because I smell something bad, it's a I don't want that guy to carry me. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> I'm not walking back up the stairs. I'm going to fly. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, man, but last time you also tried to fly and it didn't inside, go so well. Inside. Oh. What about the outdoor know. bells? You didn't think about There's those, no did you? Bells. There might be. There is no outdoor Some bells. gargoyles are going to get pushed yeah. off onto you, man. Like, that's just the next thing. That's well, why I'm going to And then it actually turns into a gargoyle. It's like a stone statue the thing hits is, you and then turns like, into a gargoyle. Yeah. Out of character, we've probably already triggered the traps that are inside, but we haven't triggered the ones that are outside yet. <laughs> you know, like if you went to scale the building, the the adventure what? path is probably like, oh, acid falls on you or something. <laughs> what do you think this is? Play. Rise of the Dead Party? No, it's Rise of the Rune Lords. All right, I felt those bones in my those bells in my heart last session man those, those things crushed us <laughs> are you as passionate about this jester as you are about ice cream sandwiches i am not but this is a good third <laughs> okay. there's one in the middle i don't even want to know what it is it's beautiful uh, we don't have time don't have time. it's the whole thing it's beautiful. Um, it's beautiful so you have this letter from zanesha it's mid-morning 11-ish, 10.30. The sounds of this crowd chanting Dr. Durden's name get closer and closer and closer, and eventually it sounds like it's right out back in the alley, and then suddenly you hear a, oh, hey, there's something else going over there. Looks like a juggler. And then you hear Dr. Durden get tossed from the shoulders over the fence, along with the body. The crowd, being fickle as it is, then rushes off towards, oh, look at that 
guy. It's a little puppy. Oh, he's, hero. He's, it's a little <laughs> puppy dog, and he's wearing a bow tie. That's amazing. Puppy bow tie's a hero of Magnamar. And then that crowd rushes off elsewhere, as it were. Oh, there's 12 heroes of Magnamar made a day. Yeah. I carry the body um, back in, and I say, I, if I can uh, remember why I hate this place. So fickle. The face stealers. So fickle. The other problem is, is that the mayor died, presumably, according to the criers. Um, and we were supposed to meet him last night. Either we're suspects, or we should at least look into it. I don't know. It's something to think about, at least. We should deal with some mesh uppers. That's what we did the first time, and it almost got us all killed, and it definitely got the mayor killed. Well, that could be a completely unrelated stuff. We don't know yet. It could have been. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys, uh, this 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 is the guy that passed the note under. He's he's just uh, um, you know, the delivery man or the the messenger. I didn't kill him because they say you're not supposed to do that. Um, didn't you? It's, no, he's he he's alive. Like, look, look, oh. and I slap him across the face like somewhat hard. The body twitches, but it seems is that lethal more... damage or non-lethal? <laughs> Uh, the body twitches, but you're not sure if it's just like a like a reaction because uh, the muscles don't know they're dead yet, or if he's still alive. I'm 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 a doctor. I I checked his pulse. Give me, a, give me a heal check, Doctor Durden. A heal check. I think it's funny if you're like a one and you're like, yeah, he's alive, but he's not. By the way, Doctor, the note that we read here is Zanesha once again inviting us to the tower tonight. So, Doctor Durden, one hundred percent alive. <laughs> He's probably even still conscious, just not talking. I'll go over and poke you. I just drop him on the floor there. Oh. A little bit of blood pools out of his mouth onto the floor. You killed him. Actually, they don't have mouths. It just pulls out of its ears. Uh, I'm um, poking it. Yeah, it's dead, Osmerding. Uh, this is oh. dead. Which is a good thing. I'm so glad you rolled the one court. That's so beautiful. The dice have a story to tell, and it's that you're not a real doctor. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. I, I I do have the degree, but uh, you know they just sell these things online. <laughs> you know, there's uh, uh we broke <laughs> These universities Sorry. where uh, you just gotta buy your degree, you know. Uh -huh. I'm no, that's so funny to me. The burning, oh my god, burning Phoenix University. Burning me. They uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, uh, for for profit school. The more you pay, the better degree you get. Oh, oh you see, so you see, Ooh. there's non profit and there's for profit. Um. It's education is education, but anyway, uh, he's there, and at least uh, he's he's not going to be a, 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 a stool pigeon, right? Is that the is that the term, Osmerdy? You know these things. You're you're into the the new like lingo on the streets, right? Um, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Are you a real doctor? Um, not anymore. I'll I'll come clean. Really? I, I was I was uh did they take away your license? I was defuncted, yeah. And they I think he's making up the school. I think he just made that up. Now what where do you think I learned how to make all this shit though? I mean I made Joffrey. I didn't buy him. Oh, it looks like Joffrey just kind of grew on you. No, I definitely poured a whole bunch of shit on my shoulder and grew him. I'm working on some other stuff, too. See, oh, I got dear. this one right here, and uh, I, like, spread some stuff into my, like, temples on both sides, and you see a little bit of a sizzle. It's, uh, uh, it's a slow process, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm transforming myself. But anyway. I'm looking at it. It's right. kind of a tumor. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. First question. Anyway, Do we yeah. want to go confront, I guess, not the mayor, because he's dead, but, you know, go and see what happened with the mayor, or do we want to go and see Zanesha again? You know my vote. Politicians right. are all corrupt. Okay. 
some of them probably knew it was going to happen. Um, we should take this body to the mayor's office. Why? They know and to let them know that there are creatures in town that are impersonating pretty, other people so they can um you know do you just leave them sound here. like they were aware of that. Let's just moment. leave them here on the dining room table. Um and then let's go and uh snuff out the this the, the the this lady she's a snake lady right i don't know you're the only one that saw her okay am i i think i almost killed her that's right yeah i only caught a glimpse as we ran past yeah the only thing i saw was bells oh <laughs> god the bells I don't remember anything. Ding dong, ding dong. Ding Just, you you, you ding gotta dodge. Dong, the bear is dead. So you gotta dodge the halfling, and also wait, no, he's a gnome. You gotta, you gotta. Like dodge instead of the, the little bells. birds floating around your head, it's bells ringing. <laughs> you gotta dodge the bells. That's all. I, that's all I could say. I don't. My thing is, is I don't know why Zanesha sent a letter, and um, if she knows where we are, and sent a letter inviting us to someplace. I don't know why she's even using coy language like, oh, we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, uh, I, I didn't try to murder you. Maybe she's scared of us. Scared? I'd like I'd like <laughs> to murder her. She tried she to murder She broke me. every bone in like two of our bodies. So let's, let's go and kill her. I'm, it, that seems to be the consensus of the party. Murder. Um, so we well, go to Zanesha. Not murder, but kill. Uh, weave, weave, you're 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 good with this killing. She's clearly evil, so I'm fine killing her. I do wonder about the whole off on the wrong foot thing. Like maybe there's something more to her, but she's clearly very evil, so I'm fine with it. Her bottom half is a snake. <laughs> that doesn't inherently make you evil. Uh, uh, Joffrey doesn't think so. <laughs> Joffrey's just really bigoted. Have you ever humor? Have you ever have you ever met a nice snake? Yeah. Literally garden snakes. Alright, let's let's go kill the snake so uh, Joffrey shuts up. Do we have we have to meet her at, well we don't have to meet her at night. Why would we come when she's expecting us? Let's go now. Anyways. Even if, so we go, right, and Bear was suggesting while you were gone, Durden, flying up the side, do you think that's an okay idea? I can only he, fly. Uh, apparently can carry all of us, which I find both amazing and concerning. I can, I can only fly one more time today. I can. Right. <laughs> but I could, I could do it for like exactly seven minutes. If we do fly up, how do we get down? Uh, I don't know. That's probably well, we'll figure out when we get there. Probably when the whole tower like crashes down, it's gravity. I mean, I'll fly down, but do you, know, you, guys, you guys want to die? Like as a question. Well, yeah. we could just go try to find some some scroll of flying. That sounds boring. We already well, we already have the spells to make us fly. Yeah, but we could have an extra one just in case, and we can use the scroll to get us up and the spell if we if we need it. Anyway, uh, wherever we're going, let's hopefully. I mean, we could always just take the stairs up that way. It's not like they're installing new bells to drop on our heads. That's what I was saying. I don't mind going up the inside at this point. I think Wolf said that the stairs got the straight as the bells fell down. There are breaks in the stairs, but you could yeah. still make your way up. It just would likely be dangerous. Okay, well, then we can go do that then. I, uh... Um... I have, uh... I have... Ma no, never mind. My, uh... Forget that my magic doesn't work on you guys. Uh, you don't have the stomach for it. That's true. I don't, I, just, I, I don't think Dr. Durden, they like backwash. I think that's that's the issue they're running into. It gives it extra texture and flavor. Oh, gross, finance. Oh. <laughs> you, better you than me. 
Turning you into a bugbear, it changed you, man. It's changed you. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, just... I will... How much money do I have? This is so expensive. Um, yeah, I, I can I can make this um, this potion. Well, I mean, I already have one made today. Um, um, I, I I like to refer to it as uh, uh, monkey fish because it, uh, um, it, it you turn into this weird freakish thing like that. Well, I do. Um, it's 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 in the testing phase, but I, I swear it probably works. Um, and then you can like climb and and like swim and and stuff uh but um i mean i can only make one for me but maybe we I'm could buy some to, we could buy some potions of it i'm gonna i'm gonna buy two potions of feather fall yeah that might, be, that might be handy yeah i'm gonna buy two of those i'm gonna buy one for me and one for sumi they're 50 gold each if i can find one i'll take one of those as well if they're selling them, Wolf, uh, I would like to. Yeah, that's them. a pretty low level scroll, and you could find those. Potion. Oh, potion. Easily. Potion. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Because Sumi can drink potions, but she can't use scrolls. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. She is magic. Sumi just needs me to read them. <laughs> it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely okay. beautiful. Featherfall. Well, that that solved the problem of getting fall. off. That solved the potion of getting off. We can. Drink I'm fine with being time. carried. I'm fine with being carried as long as I have this. So if you want to go up the outside and don't want to risk the stairs, I'm fine. Yeah. So we cut to a scene. What? Um, when, are we, when are we going? Tonight. All of you. She said to meet us tonight, and we're going when she wants us to. You prepare yourselves throughout the day, shopping. There's some eclectic and eccentric looking characters that you buy these potions from. One of them is a cat folk who says, yes, I can sell it. You has it, I has it, I gives it to you. Kind of thing. It's a little weird, um, but uh, he gives you the potions for gold, obviously. Tries to upcharge you, but weave. You're a shrewd negotiator and you get them at regular price. Regular price, which is glorious. But as we watch the sun... Kind of rise quickly, crest midday, go down, 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 and set. We see several ships in the harbor. The red-sailed pirate ship is long gone. Rise of the Pirate Lords <laughs> is no longer available. That quest has since ended, unfortunately. But we watch as the group, all five of you, six of you even, including Joffrey, Make your way under the iron span, and as you walk under the iron span, you get up next to this shadow clock tower. The area around the shadow clock tower, similar to the last time you were here, is well, it's it's just quiet again, somewhat devoid of life. It seems like. But this time you notice that the front door of the clock tower remains open. And just past its precipice, you can see the crumpled, the bent, and broken bells that just the night before had broken every bone in two of your bodies. <laughs> How would you like to proceed? Oh, uh, I'm still going to fly up. Well, air walk up. Fly up to top of the clock tower, is that correct? Yeah, as long as that's still the plan. Absolutely. Do we uh, I... do we do we want to like prep ourselves for combat? Like uh, you know, uh, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm obviously obviously gonna drink a bunch of shit, but um, and, and uh, get uh, like drunk is. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you guys, you guys want anything? Like, <laughs> you want to drink with me? <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, the wrong things, fine. man. Fine, fine then. I mean, I got I pull up in my vest. I got got some antitoxin. Got some anti plague. I got uh, uh, stuff. Got my wand of mage armor. 
So as you all make your way up the side of the tower, you see that about three quarters of the way up, this stairwell seems to exit out the side of the tower, and then it goes up the last quarter of the way and ends at the top of this tower, which the spiraled kind of peak, that steeple, that made the top of the tower is slightly caved in, and you're able to fly down through the roof. And at the top of this tower, the smoky, filthy rooftops of the underbridge sprawl below this dizzying perch. The conical roof supports an onyx statue of an angel towering like a god. Her weathered features are caked with grime, making her seem almost demonic in countenance. At the far end of this hollow space under the roof, in the angles in the angel's shadow, as a nest of cushions, silk sheets, and a line of several small chests. Uh, you... One thing. Mm -hmm. uh, communal protection for me, everyone, everyone, before perfect. we go in. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So what, how do we do this? So we climbed the inside of the tower? Climbed the, no, we you flew we outside down. and then landed inside. <clears throat> okay, so... Um, Bear can literally carry every single person, uh, right. which is insane. Uh, you won't need to carry me. I'll just shape change into a hawk, uh, and I'll fly up myself. Um, I I would like to drink some stuff and then take... So my, my fly potion only lasts for seven minutes, a minute per level. So I'd like to take mine if he wants if yeah if he wants to carry me like the majority of the way up and then I'll I'll well I'll, I'll you know what I'll I'll drink it when I need to. Okay. Uh but I will use alchemical allocation to uh spit uh my heroism potion which I've used so many times into the uh back into the bottle after I swig it. Yummy. Mm. It's extra no chunky. Words. No, nope. no, no, no. Stop I've, I've, I've used I've used that one potion so many times, and I'm gonna do uh, a Dex mutagen as well. I hate my life. <laughs> okay, so do we see her in here? You don't. Um, uh, I don't see her. I will pull out a scroll <clears throat> of sea invisibility. As yes. you pull out that scroll, a voice. You look over, and it almost seems as if the statue itself is speaking to you. It's good to see that my letter wasn't ignored. I'm curious as to the tenacity that I see in... Well, that is to say, the tenacity that the five of you has of exhibit. What... Why, is my question. What, what do you hope to accomplish by interfering with what we are attempting to accomplish here? Uh, frankly, I was the only one who voted not to come here, so it's more a question for them. I honestly, it's... as a bird, <laughs> like a way raising a full wing, like well, squawk? I didn't want to be here. <laughs> now I talk. I have a ring of elegance. I can squawk? talk in common. <laughs> squack, squack, squack. I'm just translating. I'm translating that. for the birds that are hanging out. Okay, <laughs> they deserve to understand what you're saying too. Jesus, this guy. Um. Why, why did we come here? I forgot. Like, because <laughs> you voted to come here. <laughs> no, 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 not specifically here, but like, oh, because Zanesha we was in charge of killing uh, the, our local noble Fox Alderan Club, Alderan Fox, Fox Club. Club. That's yes, it. and the trail and so, has led you here. Yeah, we liked Alderan more or less, and so we're kind of getting revenge for him and righting wrongs and killing evil. Yeah, that. What the bird said. So you've come from a small town where you were the largest fish. You've interrupted our plans in Sandpoint, and then you've come to Magnamar and continued to meddle. Yeah, sounds all right. What if I was to offer you an alternative choice, an alternative path, perhaps even an alternative destiny? One which would solidify your... It would etch your names in the history of all of Glorian. You would be known as the foundation of a powerful 
powerful rulers return to power. You could assist us. You could not contest with us, but you could rather... That is to say... Join us. We have cookies. What's the incentive here? Riches beyond your wildest dream. And to end up on the right side of history. We can all hear this, right? Literally, the voice is coming from the statue, it seems like. That I, that does sound good. I mean, I, I do want to be rich. I'm going to go stealth if I can. You may so attempt. Can, you may do so. You did roll I a nat did. 20. I, I rolled a nat 20. And then did, I want to uh, finish reading the scroll. I'm assuming you're reading it very quietly. I want to try to, yes. Yeah. If there's so, a way. so what happened? So, so, Bear so just, you would notice not anymore, in right? the corner. I'm going to reveal this to you. There is an invisible snake lady that Osmerian oh. can now see, and she only is only I can see it. She is pantomiming. She is speaking, but as she speaks, the voice comes out of the angel. <laughs> Do you have spellcraft? Ventriloquism, exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Can I start um, casting a spell? You can't see her though. Well, I, 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 will, I will try to whisper if I can. I you would do well to, do to keep your spells at bay. It is rude to begin casting when we are simply trying to deliberate. Did you well, come here? Deliberate? Did you come here under the pretense of war? It was I, not I that attacked you. It was you that attacked me. You killed my goal. What was I to think? You are murderers come lurking in the night. I simply defended I actually... what was mine. How do you think the golem attacked first? He knocked quite a bit of blood out of bear, I remember. Yeah, and you tried to kill me too. We were okay. trying to get a door unjammed, and a certain axe-wielding maniac punched all the blood out of my friend. How can we diplomatize if I can't even see you? A girl never reveals herself. Um, hey, Weave, I mean, Jester, what is the uh, range, the, the distance of Entangle? 40 foot <laughs> diameter. It's massive. <laughs> the problem, this would be a bad idea up here, then. <clears throat> the problem is, is that uh, it also needs plants, and there's no plants up here. That's true. Yeah, well. Uh, uh, so, so, uh, so you have you have a a, a suggested plan for us. Uh, what what does that entail? Yes, like, yes, for us yes. Of be, course, uh, I do. You must perform a simple task for us to join our ranks and become one of the seven. You must simply murder the mayor of Magnema, perform the rites ritual, and your position. In our organization, cell be solidified. Isn't the mayor already dead? The mayor's yeah. already. I don't. I don't think she got the news killed. yet. Wait, what? Who killed him? We didn't Wait. check. We were busy coming here. That's it. That's impossible. He can't. He can't be dead. He. He was. His greed. His. His greed was. Was. Was everything. As she gets angry, the ventrilism spell seems to break, and you hear that location where I was married, and you can see her. You now hear her muttering to herself in the corner, and everyone kind of has a I'm, general idea of where she is, but she is still invisible. I'm grabbing a rod at my belt and okay. pulling it out. All right. I'm just dropping that empty scroll, and uh, I'm waiting for see what else happens real quick it's a trick he he can't be dead there's no way that we were the only ones plotting his death it's impossible it can't be it 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 this is a trick you're all against me <laughs> and as and Marilyn, you I would cast... watch as she begins to lunge forward towards bear I, but you I can cast... cast and we're gonna have everyone roll initiative shocking grasp <laughs> with my reach mag meta magic rod all right nice. let's have everyone roll initiative and here i wanted you guys to become the bad guys and it would have been a whole thing i was, oh. I was so ready for dr durden to be like money you say money you say <laughs> oh, I, I was, what do i have to do 
That was so well, funny. I was trying to to talk to talk the deals, but or the beats, but Oh, she goes faster than me. Damn. I got to This is a weird day for me to be the fastest in the party. I got to break free. Ooh, that was supposed to be a twenty-six. <laughs> Everyone rolls a fourteen. All right, let me know. All right, so you had a ready to action as Merding, so your ready to action goes off. All right, so I'm going to cast uh, shocking grass touch attack. Hopefully, uh, I'm sick to my stomach right now. Why? Because I had macaroni, uh, cheesecake, I'm sorry, Cheesecake Factory, and they didn't cook my food right. Well, that sounds terrible, mm. my friend. Yeah, so, but I'm also kind of nervous, and uh, here you go. Don't be nervous. Oh. Don't be nervous, Peter. It's oh, only by the way, is she a reptilian? No, she is oh, a no. Lamia matriarch. Damn. She's a monstrous humanoid, but that is 21 points of electricity damage. Being nine points of sh so you guys would all watch as this crackle of electricity seems to outline where this invisible Lamia matriarch is currently hiding in the corner. So you all know approximately the four squares that her large form is is taking. But what's no your go ahead? What's your meta magic rod look like, Patrick? Uh, it is um kind of personal. The bone. <laughs> It's a bone. It's a, it's a bone shape, That's funny. and it's a forearm of a of of a. Oh gosh, let's say a, a, a an or an eight. Let's say it's a a, a forearm mm. of an orangutan, and it's been wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped, and then they just inlaid it with Jesus. Things. So, well, wow, that's bad. Oh no. Or the, the head bonus is higher than my AC, or not almost as high as my AC. So she's going to stab you with the Impaler of Thorns. <clears throat> and as the Impaler of Thorns bashes into you, there is this horrific kind of screeching noise. And I need everyone to make will saves. Everyone need to make will saves. Does protection from evil protect us from this? It does not. Who did she... Okay. Well, the bonus is from saves, I think. So quiet. But... It doesn't negate it, though. So I got a... DC on this. DC on this is a 16. Oh, Who did she oh stab? 16. She Man. stabbed Bear. She stabbed Bear. With a absurd to hit modifier. All right. And as she strikes you, Bear, anyone that failed is overwhelmed with despair and sadness, taking a minus two penalty to attack rolls, saving throws, and ability checks for six minutes. Dr. Durden, for the next six minutes, you are taking a minus two. You're basically shaken for the next six minutes. And then, Bear, you also need to make a fortitude save for me, please. You're good. You're not nauseated, okay. which is a good thing. Yeah, but if no. she stabs into you, she's also going to deal some damage. And that damage is pretty good. Take 31 damage. Holy shit. Okay. That was max. He's going to attack Ooh. you again. That one's a 36. Yeah, that hits my level 7 AC. You take 29 damage. Yeah. And then she gets one more swing on you. Which is a... Let's see here. So we add... It's plus 15. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got 17 plus 19. Plus 14. This is only a plus 14. It's not going to be bad. Only a plus 14. Still it. Holy balls. All right, very good. damage. I am unconscious. Holy fuck. So she just runs up. She reappears, stabs him three times in the chest with the Impaler of Thorns, and drops him to the ground. Drops him to the ground and screeches. Your That's sacrifice! Your sacrifice! That shall fuel my lord's return to power! She screams. Bear, make a con check. Oh, I, I've seen this one before. I'm not dead. You're I'm actually good. You're actually stable. 
Oh boy. Dr. Turd. Desmond, you're up next. Okay. Um, <laughs> she's feeling enjoying sassy. Enjoying this tonight. a little too much. She's feeling sassy tonight. I'm not enjoying anything. If the I said we'd finish this campaign. If y'all <laughs> die, technically we finished it, but that's not what I wanted. I am, uh, man, some some choices. All right. Uh, no, the the most uh, the survive one is uh joffrey is going to uh he's he's been holding on to that little fly potion or extract so he's gonna he's gonna drink that so that's the last one for the day and um i am going to fly up about 20 her lowest roll on the die was a 17 that was stupid I know, I saw that. It didn't matter. Right? She... Well, they would have hit. Yeah, like, even if she rolled, like, a five on all of those, they would have hit. There's the thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to fly uh, straight up into the air. I want to stay within 30 feet so I don't lose my bonuses. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what is that? Um, 10 feet away from her, so about 20 feet, maybe, yeah, into the air? Yeah, you're, like, kind of right up in the steeple of Wait. this. How did she fall attacking if it was a surprise round? Wasn't a surprise round. You, there was no surprise round. I was the surprise. Yeah, yeah but Kama, Kama. I was the oh, surprise she went round. First. Yeah. She went first. So you killed me. And uh, then I will throw a. I don't remember if it worked or not, but uh, let's let's just try it anyway. I will throw a uh, a frost uh, a frost bomb at her. Do it. Do it up. I believe so. Um, yeah. And this, I'm, I'm not adding the minus two, so whatever this is, minus two for okay, that okay. Uh, negative. It's a touch, though, right? Touch, touch. Yeah, touch AC. You'll get her. So Boom! 22 points of damage. 20, 22 29. points of damage. You got to make a fort save? Uh, yes. Um, uh, fortitude save four. Hold on. Let's see. Where's that at? Uh, fort save 17. She fails. Uh, she is staggered. Oh, one round. that is oh, huge. That, could so be huge. that is so huge. You watch as the frost bomb twirls through the air, and imagine they're kind of more like these vials that shatter, and then the liquids mix, and they just burst. And this frosty, almost kind of like a mist, washes over here, and you hear that. If you ever heard something fresh, flash freeze, like it's really cold, you take boiling water and chuck it into the uh, back off the back porch, and it goes freezes in air. That's what happens. And you watch as she starts to slowly move and the ice crackles. And she's with this. I yell out, uh, I got you, Bear. Don't worry. Bear gurgles, I suppose. I've seen um, this one before. I scared it. <laughs> You're up next. Oh, I can go again. <clears throat> Weave, should I heal him? If I can. <laughs> The, the staggers changed everything. I don't know. I wasn't planning on healing him. I thought he would just die again instantly. Uh, okay, I'm going to try. Um, here goes. Uh, he With his other hand, he's got the rod in his left hand. He, with his other hand, he pulls out his wand of cure light wounds. And I've got to make a... Made it. God. Fucking go. Oh, uh, no. It's 1d8 plus 1. Oh wait a minute. Let me let me look at it because I think it might be different. Charged. Uh one D eight plus three. So add three yeah. to this. Yes! There we wow. go! That's meriting! Coming through in the clutch. As you take out the wand and you make these arcane sort of swirls that you've really trained yourself to do, you feel the power of the wand, this green and golden energy wraps up your arm and you poke it into Bear's head. His fur, which was flaking off, starts to grow back and he looks even hairier than he did before. And Bear, you awaken with 5 HP. Yeah, and probably in front of somebody that just killed me. But she's staggered, so maybe you'll get a shot in. No, she goes before me. Wait, she's you're next. next. She's staggered next round. No, stagger doesn't make you lose your action. It's makes so you can only do one or the other. You you can either move or do a standard action. All right. Uh, still huge. Still we'll genuinely huge. Like it means you're... she can't full around attack, which is devastating. Act like you're dead. Um, I...
cast Cat's Grace on Sumi, sharing it with myself. Cat's so, Grace. She's a kitty. Sumi is a kitty. Uh, I'm also still in my bird form. I'm just going to fly up 15 feet, so I can't be reached. <clears throat> okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sumi, you're a kitty. Sumi, let me just check that Cat's Grace buff. Sumi's going to... Ouch. Pouncing Omega Pouncing Shred. It has never been seen until this day. Come on. Omega Pouncing Shred. All right, I have good news and I have bad news. Which do you want What's first? What's the good news? What's the good news? The good news is that's a really cool name for an attack. You want the bad news now? <laughs> None What's of the those? bad news? Does, does that include her charge bonus? Yes. None of those None hit. of those hit. It's totally fine. <clears throat> Oh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. All right. Next up is Zanesha, who is like, oh, fuck. I can barely move. I'm covered in ice. And she is going to cast a spell. She is going to attempt to cast defensively. She fails. Ooh. And her invisibility spell does not go off. What does she have to roll for that? 15 plus double the spell level. Do I get an attack of opportunity? Wait, invisibility is a first level spell, isn't it? No, it's second. No, level. Second. second. So that would be a 19. 19. So she fails yeah, by one. Second. So she does not go invisible, and that is her turn. She's no longer staggered. That is her turn. There. Mm. You're up next. All right. Well, there's only one thing I can do that doesn't get me instantly killed, and that is channeling energy. Whoa. She's getting healed, but it doesn't matter because she hasn't been yet. She has been hurt. She has oh, been you hurt don't yet. have selective channeling? No. no. Oh my god. Well, I'm gonna give her 12 HP back. She doesn't hate it. And anything else, Bear? Uh, I can't do anything else without dying, so. Okay. Dr. Dirk, Dark Veil, Bird, Dirt, you're up next. Um. Uh, let's see. Um. Do I want to use? Um, I am going to. We're, we'll, we'll try this. I'm going to use my move action to use. Um, I can't. I always forget what it's called. It is called alchemical something or alchemical weapon. So I'm going to slap uh, some brood reek onto the side of this next bomb. Um, and I'm going to throw another frost bomb at her. Beautiful, beautiful. Once again, this vial mixing stack, with this stack, blue stack, white stack, just stack. flies towards her. All right. So let's see. Um, actually, can I... Can I uh, can I take that back? I'm gonna have Joffrey do something first. Uh, uh, Joffrey's gonna cast Reduce Person on me. Okay, you are now smaller. <laughs> yep. All right. There we go. Turn that on, and uh, and then I'm gonna roll Make the me attack. Make small too. Uh, all right. Bomb. Here we go. Let's see how it goes. Twenty-five. That'll hit. And uh, it's 21 points of damage there. Another one of those uh, fortitude saves for uh, the Frost uh, for Stagger. Oh, she made it this 17. time, I think. What's the that DC? Is, that is the C. 17 is the DC. Ah, she's not staggered. She's not staggered. It sucks. <clears throat> uh, she also needs to roll a, another fortitude save. This one is a 15. All right, never mind. She that was for the Brood. That's for the Brood Reek. Uh, that is end of my turn. How's Meriting? You're up next. Mm. All right, I got I got a decision to make here. Um, I unfortunately do not have quick stow. Drop the wand or the rod. <laughs> I know I've got to drop one or the other one. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, he drops the rod. All right, he's going to drop it and try to catch it with his knees. Okay, you know, stick it between his knees. He's gonna pull out the wand of magic missile and <laughs> dual wielding. Pew, pew, pew. 
And uh, let me find that. Where did I have that set up? <clears throat> no sneak attack, obviously. Four, three, and five. You want the good news or the bad news? Whatever. When you cast the spell and you watch as the magic missiles fly towards her, there is the sheen as they get close, and you realize it's just it's just the like the flare of the light from like a ship passing by, and those magic missiles hit her and deal damage. It's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> the bait and switch. <laughs> Pop, 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 right in her face. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Weave, you're up next. She's back down from 12. Uh, I'm going to swoop behind here, and I'm going to cast uh, Bull Strength on Sumi. Give her give her a bit more of a fighting chance here. Okay, beautiful. Of hitting. Beautiful. Sumi is a kitty. What is she going to do? Sumi is going to try... Get that bull strength checked. Sumi is going to try again. I love it. Uh, Omega Rip and Tear. Oh. We got one. That nat 20. That gets through. That gets through. There is a possible critical miss, though. I need you to reroll that attack. Uh, that's a hook claw. Ooh, that sucks. Oh, no. That sucks. All right. Take 1d6 points of non-lethal damage and a minus 2 penalty on attack rolls for that attack for 1d4 rounds. That sucks. Hook claws. Yeah. Okay. Three rounds. Alright. Oh, That's rough. Uh, right. But that... No, that isn't bleed. That, that wasn't bleed? Attacks. Damn. Alright. It's now her turn. She is gonna five foot over to here because that cat hit her hard. And she is going to full attack on Sumi. Because although Sumi is a kitty, she is like 29. Uh, meets, beats. 29. Hit. 18 damage. Wow. 18 damage. Next up, we have Zanesha again. She stabs once again. 36. Jesus. She is, she is fire. So they're 18. Wow! One and two on the die again. Jesus. Sumi's unbeatable. He really is. And a 31. For the 27 points of damage on that one. Yeesh. Uh, I yeah. do have damage reduction. I need to add that back in. Please do. Bear, you're up next. Her damage reduction is two. Uh, I'm going to stand up. Okay. And cast Cure Critical on myself. Beautiful. Two. So it's six HP back. Not a lot, but it's enough. <clears throat> and that would be it for me. Actually, right. no, I'll fly foot step. I like it. I like it. All right, next up. Next up, we have none other than Dr. Darkfield Verdon. Durden. What happened to her? Oh, her turn. She was at the top. Never mind. <laughs> um all right um i'm gonna keep drinking shit uh joffrey uh will drink uh first level extract targeted bomb admixture um uh, for the next seven minutes um i add twice double my uh intelligence bonus to damage but no splash uh but no splash yep no uh no uh hits on anybody else so that will be whatever i do it'll be an additional four points of damage and uh i'm gonna try again i'm going to use my movement uh my move action to put another brood reek on this and uh attack with another frost bomb those are doing work play that much yep. Well, just saying. Um, what, what happened? He he rolled a save. I knew it was fast. I I pressed the. It'll come button. through. It might come through in a little bit. Give I it a second. The, I 
pressed the bomb button but didn't do anything. Try it again. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh. Roll to one. Roll to confirm. Confirm. Uh, what did I roll? Just another d20 Just roll or roll, roll, roll again. attack? Roll it again. Roll the, roll the same again. attack again. You don't confirm. Ooh. Roll a d8. There's no splash. For bombs? I thought there was. Oh, he took the thing, the spell that makes it so there isn't. Oh, so the bomb bursts into the side of the angel statue. The frost crackles around it. One of the wings kind of starts to creak and then shatters and then crumples to the ground and actually smashes through the floor, uh, creating a small little hole right where that wing is. Nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing you really need to worry about. But Is it uh, the bombs? Did it hit within 10 feet of her, though? It did, but I understand she's still, that you... she's. She still needs the brood reek goes off, okay. not the bomb. Uh, she still needs to save against the brood reek within anybody within ten feet of where it hit. Actually, uh, so I don't know if that's that might be Sumi as well. And me. And so been, we... yeah. All right, and uh, <gasps> the save for the brood reek is uh, fifteen fortitude. Would that be weave. I'm gonna kill him. Sumi? Weave Sumi and bear. So bear's okay. Sumi's okay, thank goodness. Yeah, everybody's good then. Uh, Woo! Thanks, sweet baby 15. Jesus. That's Meriting. You're up next. All right, so I've got two wands in my hand. I got a a rod. <laughs> rooting a in rod two between with your my leg. A rod between my legs. Jesus Christ. Hey. So I'm gonna take the cure light wounds rod and put it back where it's supposed to be. Flip it up. Flip the magic missile one over to my right hand. Grab the rod. <laughs> Can I shoot the magic missile? Yeah, I would say yes. Okay. Because that's just that's such cool. a cool image in my head. Yeah. Fucking okay. just little Sheep. green haired, <laughs> you know, us merding, just like rooting and tooting with his wands. It's just beautiful. Wasn't there a 3.5, like the wand specialist? Wasn't that like a, yeah. like a class? That was a class, yeah. Uh, so, uh, nine points. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Pop, pop, pop. More of these magic missiles strike into her ripping off and kind of burning bits of her flesh and uh next up is weave i am going to place magic and i'm going to cast cure serious wounds on sumi for 24 healing so that might not be enough um I don't know if it's a movement or a standard action to imbue a spirit. That's I, a you think. I think it's a standard thing. Uh, standard action. Uh, so nothing else there, I guess. Sumi's up next. Sumi five footsteps. And Sumi rips and tears. Omega rip and tear. Not a mm. single hit and a possible crit miss. Roll it again. Oh, wow. Omega uh, plus white. Oof. Let's say confirm. Like fitness. I said, <clears throat> Sumi is not about accuracy, and she's gonna. She's it's about having a lot of attacks, and so there. If we keep rolling crit fail deck, she's gonna be triggering a lot of crit fails. <clears throat> All right. Uh, she cannot use that attack for one round. For one round. Okay. So next up is Zanesha, who is going to kind of just like look around the room for a second, and then she locks eyes on Bird Weave, and the mask, the mask that she's wearing, sort of looks, it kind of looks like a Medusa. There's like snakes coming out of it, and, it, and the eyes glow green. I need you to give me a Fortitude save. Okay. Twenty-three. Good news, you don't turn to stone. And then she's gonna What is with people that can just petrify you, dude? That's so here. bad. Bear, you're up next. Well, I'm gonna clickety clackety my hasty boots as a free action. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful choice. And uh, I will charge and provoke. He's gonna try to give you the boots. 37. Yeah, that hits. We can't do this, man. 21 damage. Ouch. We're him. literally just not strong enough to fight her. Yeah, this is a little too... Sh she hurts. 
Well, anyways, um, I think we can take it. I will swift action use my domain of billet hair. And let's hope to bejeebus I hit her. Plus two on the attack roll. Give her the boobs. Oh! Oh my god! Alright. That's a lot. Yeah, that slashes into her. She's not happy. She recoils. She hisses at you. She looks at her mask and wish she would have used it on you. <laughs> that was bad. Anything else bad? Nope. Dr. Darkville Vert Durden. Um, I... Uh, how, how far away is she from me? I think I have to move a little bit closer. 25 feet. Proper. Okay, and I'm supposed to be 20 feet up as well, so... So she's like 45 feet from you. Pythagorean right. theorem. So I guess I move Algebra. like... Like here somewhere, maybe there. Algebra. Uh, to get back within 30 feet. Ancient Assyrian. Um, <laughs> Chester, your face. I just love it. It's just like, what are you talking what, about? What What was the uh, What was the negative if I um, if I'm within uh, outside of range? You get a minus like a minus two. I want to say yeah. you're at a minus two for this entire combat. Yep. So if I throw from out of range, I'm at a minus two again. Correct. Right. Minus four cumulative. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, you know what? I'll I'll stay where I'm at then. I, I feel I feel all right. I'll take the minus four to hit. I mean, yeah, you're 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 hitting touch AC. It's pretty shitty. Um, I don't know what her touch AC is, but I well, I did miss. Um, because you rolled a one. So yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so this round now, let's see. What am I gonna do? Um, let's let's keep let's keep drinking. Uh, Joffrey's gonna drink my first level extra extract of shield. Okay. Bam, there's that. So turning that on. And then I'm going to try Brood Reek one more time. I believe. The shit's getting expensive. <laughs> um, and I'm going to throw one more time. We're going to keep going with Frost Bombs. Okay. 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 All right. Um, so you want to target the back right square so it doesn't affect me with the Reek, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 about right. Yeah. Um, it still hits within 10 feet. So we'll see. Bam, throw. Oh, oh shit! Fourteen that, that damage. Fourteen damage. She's gonna make her fortitude save. She's not staggered. And one more. Fortitude. Oh, what does the reek do? She failed. Uh, the brood reek. Oh, what does brood it do? reek is a splash weapon do? within ten feet. What does it do? Um, what does it do? It's trying to get to it. Reading. A uh, creature struck with a direct hit must succeed uh, at a 15 fortitude save or be sickened for 2d6 rounds. She is sickened. For if the target rounds. fails its save, it must make a second fortitude save or be nauseated for one round. Oh. So one more fortitude save. With sickened. Oh! Oh, she's nauseated! She can't do anything wow. other than move action! Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that oh that we means, so needed that. That means we needed attacks that. can fire off. Oh, we needed that. <laughs> I I I I throw I hurl it from like far away up here and uh, kind of lob it, you know, like a football. And he throws it high, and it just comes, and it almost lands like right back here. Mm -hmm. um, and as it lands, I'm like, "Yes, told you I could do it, Joffrey. Told you." <laughs> uh, the, the frost just kind of shatters everywhere. Joffrey has little pom poms and is cheering for. Tiny boo boos Mm-hmm. And there's like this just green kind of like uh mm -hmm. like nastiness. I made mm -hmm. this from the uh from Alder and Foxglove's uh corpse. It's disgusting. Oh what? Yeah, oh. I, I collected He's us. <laughs> Alder. Nauseated one round, but two D six of sickened as well, so roll two D six for how long Do you yeah, want me to roll sickened. that? Yeah, yeah. Two D six. Seven. Sorry. We so, next. Sickened is minus two penalty on attack rolls. Oh, uh, no, you missed throws. me. That's Verity. You're up next. Thank you. <laughs> so, Nazia um, doesn't make snake attacks yet. Well, I noticed this. As my move action, I put my magic missile wand away. Still got my rod. I start casting Shocking Grasp. Mm. Since she's sickened, that means I can get sneak attack off, right? No. 
No. Oh, man. Well. Okay. 26 well, touch. Here's the go. thing. Here's the thing. It hits her. And she, for the first time this entire fight, you watch as the mask falls off her face, and you can see this kind of feminine, black-haired woman. Like the upper torso of a woman, but the lower torso of a snake. And she looks scared. She looks terrified. She's bleeding. There's burn marks up her face, but she's still standing. She's retching. She's still standing. She's retching. Sumi's up next. Weave is up next. Weave is up next. Uh... <laughs> Don't come here. Uh, I'm going to fly down. I'm still in my bird form, but I have this little pouch around my neck, and I just reach it in with my beak. I pull out a wand, and I just wiggle the wand around <laughs> and tap Sumi's back <laughs> and give her a little cure cure moderate wounds. Wow. That's almost better than the cure serious wounds I did earlier. <laughs> It's Weave's turn. And now oh. it's Sumi's turn. Sumi's turn. Sumi, five footsteps. Let's see if I don't get a nat one. I can't do like half of my attacks. So um, we're ignoring the first two claws, right? Yes, we're, we're ignoring the first two claws and the hook claws are at a minus two, minus four damage if they hit, but they probably won't. Mm -hmm. So Omega rip and tear. Oh, Let's if it hit. I want to Claws tell you the it. only one that hit was the claw, but you don't get that attack. That sucks. Doesn't matter. All right. Great. <laughs> it is her turn. She attempts to flee, provoking attacks of opportunity from both Bear and Sumi. Omega Paw Swipe. Bear. And Sumi, simultaneously, Sumi pounces on her tail like it's a fucking snake and a cat's going after it. You ever seen a cat kill a snake? It's fucking great. So she pounces on it. The woman screams. Bear, you see your opportunity fucking hulked out. You lunge forward, burying your axe into her lower back. There's that sickening crack as you roar and you sever her spine. The snake tail goes limp, but Sumi's got her maw on it. It's just shaking it back and forth. And she goes, no, no, it wasn't supposed to be like this. And then with a swift crack and then a broad strike, you take off her left arm, clip the side of her head, and she spirals to the floor and begins to bleed out. And that, my friends, is the end of Zanesha. Well fucking fought. Well oh, fucking right. fought. Jesus I, I give Sumi some pets. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> Holy balls. That was a that was a good fight. That was it's night. You know what you know what happens when they don't get the drop on you and drop an entire church on you? It just things go well. I mean, she does mean Well, me well. <laughs> All right. Two frontliners being at single digit HP multiple times. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you guys were fine. All right, what is this appeal? You for guys instead? were fine. I wasn't worried at all. That makes one of us. No, man. It was totally cord, cord nailing the that staggered with the frost bomb and then the nauseation <laughs> with that with that 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 stink bomb or whatever the heck it's called. Those were like those were game changing bombs, and if those did not happen, I'm pretty confident somebody would have died. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You either Sumi or Bear probably would have died. Hundred percent. So I, I, I have quite a bit of Aldern left in uh in my uh, handy haversack. That is so gross. Why are you like this, Doctor? Why are you like this? You're tearing his family apart. The most important. <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. You're tearing us apart. So of, of 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 the sixty nine pounds of gassed flesh that I have in my bag, how much do you think I've used so far? Is it like one pound per like bomb? I'd say one pound per bomb. Yeah. Okay. So because some of it's still, lost in the mixture, like there's still a lot got of, still got sixty three pounds. A lot of left. burn off. That's disgusting. So That's the cool. most important thing you find is a letter with a red blood stained sahedron symbol, kind of imprinted on the back, and beautiful handwriting. But who would like to read this letter? Who would like to read what this letter says? It's so long. I, I, I have reading glasses. Let, let me do it. All right, go for it, Dr. Durden. 
All right, here, here we go. So let's see. <clears throat> and I put on these, these gold rimmed spectacles. Uh -huh. It says, uh, my sister, Dash, uh, I trust uh, your little band of murderers is doing well, gathering the greedy souls for our Lord's rise? Question mark. Unsure. <laughs> uh, has, uh, has Magnamar proven to be as sinful as you had hoped? Question mark. It may interest you to know that my plan to nurture greed here in this backwater has blossomed. The, the, the quality of greed in a soul is so much more refined when it is given the proper care. Uh, are, are you still simply carving the Seahedron on them as they expire? Question mark. How crude. Uh, my method of marking is so much more elegant. In any event, I'm sure that your plans for harvesting greed, where and when you can find it, quotations in the wild, end quotations, are progressing well enough. Long dash. I don't know why she keeps dashing. It's weird. I'm not sure what it means. Uh, I, I just hope that uh, your raw, ungroomed, and likely inferior victims don't interact poorly with mixed, when mixed with the purity of my own subjects. Uh, if you tire of your little project there, know that you're always welcome to come to Turtleback Ferry and serve as my assistant, little sister, exclamation, excitement. Fort Rannick should be in our control by the time you receive this letter in any event. So Daryl, Daryl, I don't, I don't think that's a word. Be plenty of room for you if you wish to take me up on my generous offer. Oh, exclamation point. Before I forget, exclamation point. Have you managed to harvest that Lord Mayor yet? Yet, question mark, by all accounts, he might just be the cream of the crop in Magdamar, long dash. His soul might even rival several from my band, hand, hand grown harvest. Stop reading over my shoulder, exclamation <laughs> point. The words are so small. Yeah, I, I had sound like a. It. I, 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 have, I have an old woman's voice nowadays. Oh, my back hurts. Here, somebody take this note. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Is there no, like, from X name? No from. No from. It's her clearly sister. Zinesha's relative. Could be sister, could be brother. There's somebody related, yes. I think they said, it's in the... The sister. Unless they mean sister in the more general sense, like the sisterhood. Yeah, they're all sisters and we're all brothers. They're all my sisters, all the big brothers and me. Big old happy family of uh, murdering people. Indeed. Turtleback Ferry, huh? Yeah, where's that? That's... Uh... But I know exactly where, that where that's at, right? I don't know. So, uh, knowledge, history, or local, but realistically, I mean, you could... W wasn't, isn't... It... I'm so, I, I might know this as Jasper the Human. Uh, wasn't the Turtleback Ferry between the Ashwood and Sandpoint? E... And it was kind of close to so the funny Ash... story, if you look at the map... What? It's right next to the Ashwood, where I'm from. Right next to the Ashwood, where you're from. You actually know Turtleback Ferry. You would actually probably... know the Rangers of Fort Rennick. You know of them. They are a group of military folks. They're actually a one of the sort of Evrons, one of the surrounding cities uh, that are under the control of Magnamar. And they fight ogres, is what the rangers hmm. of that fort do. It's a very Ooh. small... The biggest feature is there is a giant, giant ancient uh, dam that exists and that holds back the waters of Storval Deep. It holds back the waters of Storval Deep. And yeah, you, you've actually been to the town. You know exactly where that is. Yeah. My God, it took me so long to find Turtleback Ferry on this map. I just found it. <laughs> yeah, it's way... <laughs> yeah. I started from the top of the map. But now you're it's basically here. dead center. <clears throat> it's right next to the Ashwood. I'm going home. 
<laughs> if you want to. That would appear to be where the trail of these cults, these murderers, appear to be. And the question is, is this something you all even care about? Yeah. I mean, we're in this deep. We might as well finish it. Because I'm in too deep, and I'm trying to keep well, I personally, my stuff in my head. I, I, I find the advance of evil quite bad. I was initially intrigued because of her use of undead, although we hadn't seen any here. Um, which I find abhorrent and, and should be rooted out and destroyed anywhere they can be found. Um, but the general propagation of evil, they're clearly using some sort of sin dark magic where they take the, the sins of the living to create some greater effect, resurrecting some lord or something. It's quite possibly the definition of evil. At the very least, we should inform people. Yes, so we need to inform the people of Magnamar. What about undead? We were fighting undead, ghouls yeah, and such. I don't remember yeah, we reading that in the, the letter, though. No, no, we were fighting the undead. Remember the ghouls oh. and the... Where yeah. you got that flesh. Yeah, it's, uh, his name is Aldern, okay? Right. He was a, he was a nice guy. Uh -huh. He was. He uh, he was turned by uh, uh, evil people. Zanesha, the woman we just killed that's lying here dead, yes. And then there was that... Her tail twitches. A, there, was, there was Naya from Sandpoint. She she burned down a, the, the church. Apparently she was... Who? The Some sort of woman lady. that was part angel, part succubus yeah, or something, was, and she was, she was trying to be more succubusy. She, she was trying so, to be more monstrous, yeah. Oh, so, I, a bear was there for that, I'm pretty sure. He was. Mm. Yes, he, he was, was there for that. Scardy died. Scardy died on the. Death. On the uh, wow, a coward's death? He died with honor. <laughs> fighting a goblin horde that was far too many goblins for hey, a level three party. So, so we've killed like the the bottom boss and now we've killed that boss's boss and now we've killed that boss's boss and now we're going to go kill that boss's oh. boss or that stopping. boss's sister or there's something yes. going on well, brother possibly or the metaphorical brother <laughs> but let's go to the people of magnamar in this in Let's let people know what's going on. Obviously, I agree with Oz. Bear, can you chop off the snake's head? Cat, uh, cat, what? Uh, what? Can I chop its head off? Never mind. Please. The cat rolls it at one, <laughs> chops off own hand. Oh, no. <laughs> he chops off the head with one swift strike. I turn can... into Ash Williams. <laughs> <laughs> and then Give we a chainsaw. Can... Yeah. There's probably a reward. This. Is my axe stick? I don't know. Done. That's we nice. also we also my have the murderer, uh, the the murderer who killed the mayor back in uh, uh, Aldern's townhouse on the on the table there. I don't know if that's true. Well, we I, I know it's true. We, we that's not a bad idea. Um, you know, if we lie and they figure that out, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. It's it's not a lie. Just trust me. I I, I wouldn't lie to you. Do you have proof? <laughs> yeah. What's Joffrey, proof? tell him. Joffrey no. says nothing. Nope. Nope. Joffrey nope. says shit. Damn it, Joffrey. We need proof. My time of need. <laughs> yeah, right, we well, can't. we got some we got some cool toys. Uh well this this thing, uh this letter here says that they were gonna kill the mayor. Yeah, yeah we, so we need to we somebody need to else killed the go. mayor, and clearly Zanesha was very surprised by this. So we, right. well, we, we we don't we, have to we, leave we, that that note in there. We, we could say Janessa killed him. We could just take everything to the to the ruling people of Magnamar. There is a, a very loud ringing. It sounds like someone holding a no more bell. It's like a handbell. It's like a ding, 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 ding. Boy, we know you're up there. Come out with your hands up. The jig is up. We know of your plot to kill the mayor. Come on down. You're too late. We already killed the person that killed the mayor. No, just throw the head off the tower. And then we'll no. push the rest Come of the Come out with your hands, paws, oh, just... wings, and other appendages up. And it's nobody just... gets hurt. 
we, let's gonna, push the body off the tower. I, I'm going to carry the body down. Oh, it would be more dramatic if it just plops. I would imagine if you will. Remember that horde of guards that was at their donut convention on the Southern Island? It's like triple that outside of this tower. So like a million? There's like <laughs> in <laughs> infinite <million>. number. <laughs> You're not sure. They just keep multiplying. They're like dividing. Like cells. Mitosis um, is yeah, going they're on they're amongst they're the guards. Existing. Like, but no, there is like a, about Smith 50 guards outside surrounding the tower. And there's a town guard, like the sergeant of the guard, captain of the guard. And long story short, you're able to come down, show them the letter, explain to them what happened, reveal this entire plot that transpired with Justice Ironbriar and Zanesha, the murders. And the captain of the guard, after seeing all this information, you do some diplomatizing, you reveal to him the events, they actually believe you. They also recognize none other than the hero of Magnamar, at least this week's hero of Magnamar, <laughs> Dr. Desmond Durden himself. Today's hero of Magnamar. They're like, oh my <laughs> god, it's Dr. Durden. You he killed oh, that hero, shape changer, one of the murderers. Good news, the mayor's death, his assassination was faked to throw the real assassins off his trail. They got a they got scent of the plot and the mayor would like to meet with you all to give you both a reward as well as ask your favor for something very important Ooh, i like free stuff i like a hey, hey, hey. yeah so you all have you get a chance to get dappered up and go to this dinner with First the mayor. visitation the dinner with this mayor and we're gonna pivot you over put you guys back over to magnamar do were. they have any reaction to the fact that i am in a bugbear you got your helmet on. What do you think this town's racist? No, they're like, ah, oh, he's a he's a he's a hairy human. That's fine. Well, they don't know. Well, you got your helmet on. Just we'll vouch helmet for on. you. Yeah, they vouch for him. I'll take my helmet off. I mean, if they call oh. the demon oh, devil, oh, oh, <laughs> it's a black bear. They're inherently the evil. Black ass face. On. Oh, it's oh, hey. bear. Oh, it's bear. bear. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> you guys see that bug bear that was running around town killing people? It was terrible. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and at this point, the bug bears. More tame than bears. That's true. That's true. So, oh my God. you guys are able to meet with Lord Mayor Grovas, uh, who is a portly man with the ugliest looking mutton chops you've ever seen in your life. He comes so like this. <laughs> oh my God. And there is a luxurious, magnificent dinner that is laid out before you. Lots of royalty and nobles are in town. You all are paraded around like literal uh, famous folks like movie stars like theater stars you are paraded around this beautiful event even sumi is given all the fish she can eat she is just living living life to the max bear they don't seem to care that you're a bug bear they think of you as being fascinating you're so exotic you're so your ears are so pointed your teeth so quirky. are quirky oh my god you're so weird it's so crazy look at you, you're so hairy what are you doing later no it's a whole thing and the mayor finally after this whole beautiful big magnificent dinner takes place the mayor meets with you in private and although he is a portly greedy somewhat almost off-putting man as he meets with you in in private in his study his outward appearance this ex this kind of the way he presents himself as this <laughs> it seems to fade away and he gets a little bit more serious so we cut to a scene of all of you in this study it smells of cigar and tobacco and maybe even some wacky tobacco i don't know it smells pretty intense. But he says, I cannot thank you enough for killing the murderers in this town. These horrific mutilations of the people of Magnamar has been plaguing us for, for months. What you have done here has been truly a great service, not only to myself, but to each and every one, each and every person. Man, woman, child, bugbear, and he smiles a little bit, pulls this place home. I'm rewarding each of you the sum of 3,500 gold pieces for the work you have done. But I have an additional task I wish to ask of you that will come with 
its own ward once completed. The letter that you brought from this Zanesha, who was plotting my own assassination, she made mention of Fort Rennick near Tutterback Ferry, and unfortunately, we have lost contact with the fort. It has been six weeks since their last check in, and it would seem that the threat so referenced in this letter from her sister, I fear it has come to fruition. If you have it in you, I would ask that the five of you, you make your way to Turtleback Ferry, find out what the hell is going on there and put a stop to it. Rescue my rangers if they do still live. And bring peace to that troubled land. Should you agree to this, I would pay you each an additional 5,000 gold for <clears throat> services rendered. The Ashwood is my home, and I will happily go back there and help solve any problems that have arisen at Turtleback. So you, you're not you're paying us five thousand after we're doing that, right? He's already given us money right now, up front, as it were. Five thousand when we come back. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, no, I'm, yeah, that's fine with me. I, I like being known as a, a hero of Sandpoint and Magdamar. You are indeed truly heroes of this city. I will leave you with this. Anything you need prior to leaving. Mundane supplies, potions, scrolls. I open my armory to you. Use them as you see fit to prepare yourself for the journey ahead. I preface this by saying, don't be too greedy. And there's a little bit of a mischievous smile that crosses his face as he says that. I wake Look at straight him. at Oz. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, you can see this. Look on my face. <laughs> so in game, what that's going to translate to is each of you can select four potions up to level three. And you can just get them for free. Sweet. What what caster level? Third level spells. What? Third, so level, third level spells. Basic caster levels. Basic caster. What does yeah. that mean? So whatever the lowest level caster level required for that potion or that spell to be of cast of that class of that class. That's what it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm looking to buy some higher caster level potions. Cause... And so you are given a quest: to travel west to Turtleback Ferry. And to show our friends at home that are stopping in to view our adventure, our beautiful and glorious heroes will be traveling from Magnamar all the way up the Yodunbakari River, past Wartel, through Whistledown, Glass Il Serena, up the river to Turtleback Ferry. Near the hook. We're literally, elements. we're literally walking the route that Weave and Sumi walked to get to Sandpoint. We're just going the rivers. It's beautiful. It's absolutely See, beautiful. Did you say four potions each or three potions each? Four. Four, four, four potions, potions each up four. to level three. I put it in the that is correct. thing. All right, I just took four here, serious one. Potions. That's not a bad idea. And my friends, my friends, my friends, my friends. That concludes. Chapter two of Rise of the Rune Lords. Well fucking done. Well done, my friends. We have made it a third of the way through the campaign. Woo -hoo. Third of the way through the campaign. The next chapter is one of my favorites. One of my favorite chapters. Having run through this multiple times. This is probably like my seventh, sixth or seventh playthrough. The next chapter is called The Hook Mountain Massacre. Hook Mountain Massacre. So you can assume it's going to be super peaceful. Yeah. And it's nothing gonna be bad will a happen. Breeze. It's going to be a breeze. Happen. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. But uh, remind me, what level is everyone currently? Uh, we're level seven, and we need to get to 34,000 
experience points with, and we're right now about 31,900. Well, the good news is, good news is, practice that role playing for just being amazing. You guys are going to get just enough XP to level up to level eight. Congratulations. So we're at 34,001. And I'm going to give each of you one additional hero point as well. Top of leveling up. Ooh. A maximum of three. I can't go above three. I already no. have three. I already have three. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh-uh. gotta start using them. Gotta start using them. I'm saving my two in case I die. <laughs> well done. Hey. Well done. Well done. And with that, I'm going to let the players begin their leveling up. And uh, as I always say, any final thoughts, questions, comments, or concerns before we wrap up tonight's session of Rise of the Rune Lords? So ice cream sandwiches. Yeah. No. Oh my God. <laughs> no, 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 it's like preach. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you get it. You get it. It's <laughs> absolutely right. But as I always say at the end of every session, thank you so much to the players for playing. Thank you to the viewers for viewing. Happy thank gaming, everyone. We will catch you next week, I believe, unless there's any issues. We'll catch you next week for session 19, the beginning of chapter three of Rise of the Rune Lords. Our commitment to ourselves and to you all is that we are going to get through this campaign one way or another. And soon enough, the heroes of Sandpoint and Magmar might just be the heroes of all of Galorian. But we'll take it from there. You'll find out next time. But be well and be safe. And again, happy gaming. Good night, everybody.